Good morning. I think it's still morning. I don't know what time of day it is right now. <laughs> we are going to do a watercolor video with Alt New. Cater to Alt New again because I got some Alt New stamps last night in the mail. Still waiting for my checks to come in the mail. They were overnighted on Friday and they still have not showed up. I don't know what's going on. So I'm still waiting for a tracking number. Those have not come in the mail. I don't know what's going on, but nobody's responding to my texts either. So I'm hoping that they'll respond by tomorrow. Maybe I'll get them today or tomorrow. I don't know. But anyways, I have been going crazy again this weekend, creating lots of cards. So yesterday, I didn't make this card yesterday. I made this one on Friday. Um, actually, let me show you my craft roulette card real quick. Where I put it. Here it is. <laughs> so here is my craft roulette card. Um, so the parameters were project was bookmark. So here is my bookmark. The little rabbit is holding the bookmark. Okay. Colors were gray background. So here's my gray background. Element was bunny or bunnies. So here is a bunch of bunnies. There's five of them. And these, this is all spellbinders stuff. So this craft roulette card catered to spellbinders. And then random was swag. So this decoration here was from a die set and it definitely screams swag to me. Now swag could be a bag. Swag could be fancy decoration lines and this definitely was swag. Now also, um, the Chinese New Year is this weekend, was also this weekend, and it's also Year of the Rabbit. Now go figure, Mr. Wheel landed on Bunny or Bunnies. Now how clever of Mr. Wheel to land on the rabbit. And so my other three colors, now I know neutrals are free colors, and so it was gray background plus three. So I picked red because the Chinese New Year, they use a lot of red. And so I picked red plus a little shade of lighter red. And then I picked two shades of browns. But it was the only thing I could think of on Friday night. And I was able to get this card done and turned in before the craft roulette show on YouTube even ended, the live ended. And I added a little tiny piece of floss, foiled floss on the bookmark. So this little rabbit is holding the bookmark. You flip it over, the bookmark says, read more. So he's holding his bookmark. So it was the only thing I could think of. I could have done a bigger bookmark, but for this, that's all I could think of. It was like a tiny bookmark for a tiny rabbit. So then I added some red gems. So I'm starting this year, I'm starting to use older stuff. And that was what I used. And so um, I also before I show you what I got, um, I used one of the stencils that I won from scrapbook.com, which is a bunch of the stencils they sent um, myself and three others that won. Um, we got a whole slew of stencils, you all. And we also got 12 things of stencil butter, plus a big jalopy of transfer foil sheets and 
yeah and all kinds of stencils galore to where I don't need to buy stencils anymore unless unless I get my quota up in share sale and Spellbinders sends me some stencils and that's about all so but anyways there's this stencil it's called the New York bridge and of course it's along the coastline and so I used I used a little bit of Tim Holtz and Simon Hurley inks and then I used some lunar paste and I used some Tim Holtz texture paste and I used some of that texture paste on the ocean and then I took before it dried I took a little bit of Uncharted Mariner and I rub that on the stencil on the ocean and then I um, had a piece of cardstock and I what do you call that term as you go um, I covered everything as I went so I wouldn't get other stuff in anything else it'll come to me as I go we were just talking about it last night when I was Zoom crafting with some other friends last night. But, uh, with the Zoom girls through Messenger. But, uh, and then I took a silver lining lunar paste and I did the bridge that way. And then I took, uh, a little bit of salvage patina, I think. And, or no, hold that thought. What were those two shades of blues? Speckled egg and salvage patina for the blues, for the sky, for the clouds. And then for the sun, I used guppy and psych for the sun. And then down here, I use clear skies and crown me for the fish. So I just thought that would look cute down there. So that is that one. And so now this is getting into all the cards that I made. I made eight cards yesterday. Don't wanna see that one yet. So a lot of you know that Simon Hurley just did a recent release and some of us got his birthday stamp and die set and I was one of them. He didn't send it to me. I had to get it. I had to order it. So I ordered it. Well, I had made a bunch of um, gel press backgrounds the other day during my live. And then I also found a bunch over there um, on my other bookcase under my Roku TV. And so I thought I would put all these backgrounds to good use for the next couple of weeks. And so I started matching all these backgrounds to card, to stamp and dies. And so I kind of color coordinated um, Simon Hurley's birthday stamp and die set to this background. So this one has his flower stencil um background you probably can't see it very good because the sun is kind of shining it has a little bit of silver lining i did this one on black cardstock but it's got a little bit of purple and pink prom queen and triple berry i think and maybe clear skies i don't know because it made another lighter color but and definitely silver lining because I could see the silver in there. But anyway, so I got that card done yesterday. And then I made this card last night. I already had this card already made, the background. And this was one of the backgrounds I, st I stenciled last year. And so I just matched it to a coffee stamp, stamp set that somebody sent me for Christmas this last year. And so it says, thanks a lot, Tay. But first coffee, that, but first coffee didn't stamp very well. And then I just added two spoons, a coffee cup in the middle and two coffee cups on the outside. 
with Simon Hurley's um, lunar paste diamond, stenciled diamonds on the outside. And then this is an alt new card. This is their stencil that I have of, of alt news. Kind of makes you look a little dizzy. And I arranged the bear, the giraffe, and the lion to make it look like they were kind of trapped in a tornado. But that's kind of how that stencil is. It kind of captivates your eyes like, wow, man, <laughs> like gnarly dude. <laughs> but it's a cool stencil. I mean, you can take two colors and you can just sit there and go, oh my gosh. I mean, you can give this to a guy that some people that smoke something and they can probably get all whoopy on something and, you know, <laughs> and they can sit there and just constantly turn this card and go, wow, man, this card is gnarly, dude. <laughs> just something to make you laugh. And then I did this one yesterday. Another Bear, Lion, and Giraffe by Alt New. This is the geometric um, stamp set. And then the background is the Stacked Rock Stencil by Crafters Workshop. Another one that I had won from scrapbook.com. And I just, uh, I actually took a fine paintbrush and I painted these guys with uh, lunar paste and stencil butter. And that is how I colored these three guys. So I used uh, the black glittered stencil butter and brown stencil butter to get the bear. And then I used orange roar and terracotta. So I used lunar paste and stencil butter for the lion. And then I used okra stencil butter. And I wanna say I used another shade of orange of stencil butter or a shade of orange of lunar paste. I don't remember for the giraffe, but you can do one solid color or you can do a multitude of different colors if you wanted to. That is how these guys are supposed to be colored. You don't have to stick with one color. I think once I did a bunch of different colors and just went wild with them. But this time I just stuck with their normal brown black for the bear, the brownish, orangish, reddish colors for the lion, and then the orange, yellow, dark yellow color for the giraffe. And then I added, I look up to you, you fill my heart with pride, and I cannot bear to be without you. And this could be a Father's Day card. And then this one um, was the banana leaves and stencil, which I also did on my gel press. And I paired it up with a monkey stamp set. And I can't remember where I got this stamp set. It is definitely a photopolymer stamp set. I'll tell you that. I think I got it at Joann's. I can't remember if it's a Hero Arts or if it's a Stamps of Life, but it didn't say Stamps of Life. Or if it's of my favorite things or what. I don't remember. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, hold on guys, I gotta take care of a nose before it runs away. Oh, okay. So I was trying to find 
because I threw away the packaging that went with this set. And to be honest, I don't know what I did with it. And I couldn't remember if it was Avriel and I tried looking on the Avriel website because I do have another monkey stamp set by Avriel. So I either got this at Tuesday morning or I got it at Joann's on clearance or discount. But honestly, I don't remember where. So if anybody knows what this monkey stamp set, who this is by, please let me know. Because I want to put the name on that in the envelope so I can remember who. And then I did this card yesterday. The backgrounds were already done, just so you know. This stamp set is by Simon Says Stamps. Um, and it says, Happy Easter, somebody loves you. And I accidentally cut his ear by accident. And then I added some unicorn gems because I just thought the unicorns would look cute and I thought some girl would like this for Easter piece of hair on there and I can use you can tell I did half circles and half arts I can't remember if this was done with inking definitely inking but I can't tell if I did this with gel pressing or if this was a cleanup I want to say this was a cleanup that I did. So the cleanup got turned into a card. But it looks cute. And it looks like two different, like I did two different cards. Like, happy Easter over here, then somebody loves you. <laughs> looks cute. And then, here is another card. This is a Gina K card by Melanie Menchinger stamp set that I used on this one. And this was a, yeah, I used, I wanna say I, oh, this was a hexagon stencil that I used on a, my gel press. I wanna say I inked it looks like inked. I want to say I inked it and stuff. And then I cleaned it up, pulled it off, and then I stamped with black. Because this, some of this I had made last year. And then I used some of Melanie Menjinger's um, beehive or bee stamp set that I got bought, gosh, a couple years ago. However long ago it came out. And then I added some, um, and then I just added a happy bee day. And then I added some teardrop or raindrop gems to it. I hope I have an odd amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, seven. So that should equal eight. No, one more. So here is the new stamp sets that I got from Alt New. This one is called, should have the name of it somewhere, Follow Your Dreams. And I got this one on the clearance and you guys might wanna check the clearance. And again, I will put the down below in the description box there's a lot of affiliate links. I always put those down there. I do my best. Sometimes I don't, but I will, I will always try to put the affiliate links in my description box, especially if I'm doing videos for stamp and die companies. So because this one is for alt new, I will make sure that the alt new, um, affiliate link is on the top so that they get credit for this video. Now I'm not getting paid for this. They did not send me these for free or anything. These were on the clearance. I 
only paid like a couple dollars for both of these stamp sets. There are dies for these, but I did not get the dies. Okay, just so you guys know, you can get dies for these. I do believe. I have to check. But it does cost more to get the dies. Now, I got this Follow Your Dream stamp set because I'm a crafter. It's always been my dream to craft, and I've been crafting since pretty much since a sophomore in high school. Am I perfect at it? No. <laughs> Will I ever be perfect at it? No. But it's a dream of mine to... My dream someday is to be a guest designer for alt new maybe that would be cool um because i love to watercolor um my dream someday is to be a guest designer for hero arts my dream someday is to be a guest designer for other stamp and die companies um but if i don't make it i don't make it that's okay i'll still do youtube videos um and I'll just be an affiliate for certain stamp and die companies. So that is why I got this. And it just, and the sentiments say, make it happen. They know the way. You are never too old to follow your dreams. You are never too old. Oh, happy new dreams. The distance between dreams and reality is called action. You got to make it. You gotta make your dreams come to life. And then happy new you, happy new year, and happy new days. And another reason why I got this because I thought, oh hey, I can make this into a Chinese new year card. So that's what we're gonna do in this video today. And then I got this because we have, in my craft room, we have two cacti, holiday cacti that bloom every thanksgiving christmas and valentine's and they're starting to get more buds on them again so that means they're gonna bloom here pretty soon again so the old buds the old flowers are falling off and new buds are starting to form again so i like cacti's Someday, I would love to have a cacti garden out front in our front yard. So the sentiments on this say, Remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. You never know who you are inspiring. And then this one says, You are so much stronger than you think. Be brave, be strong. Live every moment, laugh every day, love beyond words. So this stamp set spoke volumes to me. And I think it's because, you know, I lost my brother and I lost my mom two weeks of each other. And I think these sentiments really stuck to me. And... You know, I, I am stronger than a lot of people think I am, which is true. <laughs> There's times I think I'm not that strong, but I am. Um, and, you know, God never gives us more than what we cannot handle. So, yeah. So, last night I made this card. And... I think this one turned out amazing. Now, I could have put smaller gems on this. I think these gems are too big for this card, yes. But I was having fun. And I put a sentiment that I chose was, Remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. Because you know what? None of us are perfect. We're not. Not one person on the face of this planet is not perfect. I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, they're not perfect. Only God is perfect. And 
I can say that because I know he's perfect. But we can try to be more like him. But it's hard because we're in the human flesh and we all make mistakes. <laughs> so, but I love cacti's. They're all beautiful in their own way. Some bloom flowers, some do not. And I used, um, I used Distress Oxide Sprays to watercolor. And I used my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer with my Perfect Pearls, my white, which gives it a flare of glitter. So that is what I used on this card. So, yeah. I like how that turned out. And I used a little bit of lunar paste too. I used it on this one, Minty Fresh. And I used a fern stencil butter on this one, I do believe. But other than that, I used Distress Oxide Sprays. And then one of them last night exploded on me. Literally exploded. Yeah, she definitely exploded on me. So anyways, I just thought I'd share that with this card with you. So I'm definitely going to make some more watercoloring cards. I will post this on Instagram. I'm going to take a better picture of it. But yeah. So anyways, I'm going to make a Chinese New Year card, and I will post that on Instagram. I don't want to take up any much more time than I already have, but I just thought I'd let you know. I have some watercolor paper here, but anyways, I just thought I'd show you this cool card that I made. So I will definitely make more like this because it's so cute, but I think I'm going to put smaller gems on it because I just don't... I'm not so sure that I like the big gems on it. So that's what's not so perfect about this card. Because, see, we crafters, we're not that perfect. We make crafty mistakes, too. So, there you have it. I'll have to find my smaller clear gems if I can find where I put them. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. And I think I will use this set next. So, anyways, love you. Bye.